Hi, I'm astronaut Mike Massimino. Earlier this year, I flew aboard Space Shell Atlantis to the Hubble Space Telescope. My crewmates and I spent more than two years training for that mission, and now another crew is getting ready to fly on Atlantis, and they're going to the International Space Station. They've been working hard to get ready for their flight, and they've let us follow them around for the past few weeks with a camera. We're about to show you some of that footage, and you're gonna get an up-close view of the crew, go inside their training, and hear some of the stories from the astronauts and their team. This is STS-129 behind the scenes, and we hope you enjoy it. Consomme, coffee, coffee, coffee. Coffee, coffee, coffee. Pineapple, grapefruit. No, we don't have any tea today, it doesn't look like. It's all right. Try to be made. Hit that button here. Data analysis is in the There you go. Actually, let me shoot you a little more. That's a little light. Sometimes this thing doesn't really put as much as water in as it says. Sometimes it doesn't. Sometimes you say it says eight ounces, but it doesn't really shoot eight ounces in there. You got to add a little more. Drink straw. There you go. Lemonade, artificial sweetener. You just Shake that up and then you open that clip when you're ready to drink. Here's one of those uh, LCGs, liquid cooling garment. This is Scorches. When he comes down and suit up, he'll put this on and has all these cooling lines running through it and plugs in right here and the cooling comes on the outside of the orange suit, plugs into this basically. Keeps us cool. Now he's got his cooling garment on. He connect the bottoms to the top there, so that the cooling will flow through both garments. Get your shoulder pads. Yeah, got the wrong place. Okay, so you're putting on. You've got your fancy underwear on. You're cooling. You're cooling. 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 That's the blue thing. It's got all those tubes that bring cooling water over your body right. and keep you nice and cool because you can get hot inside, I think. And now you're putting a G-suit on. You usually don't really need cooling garment to keep me cool. <laughs> and now you're putting a G-suit on. It's called you, speed breaches. Can you, that's what you call those things? Speed Why do they call them that, man? This is cool. This is like fighter pilot stuff. That's right. Fighter Go ahead. Stuff, when you pull G's, it inflates. It keeps the blood in your head so you don't pass out. It's kind of the same thing for us. All right. Since we're coming back from space, we're not used to having all this blood in our bodies, we right. get rid of a lot of it, it kind of helps keep it back up there. So. All right, so this this keeps the blood where it's supposed to be, because you don't want to be passing out while you land in this thing. That's right. So that would be bad. So we we also use speed bridges for a different reason in space. Speed bridges? Yeah. Custom How cool fit, is that? Custom fit to our bodies, <laughs> to our lower extremities. So it'll squeeze, obviously squeezes from the, from the calves, thighs, and abdomen. Right. Push, push the blood to our heads. And is this similar to what you wore in the in the Marine Corps when you were flying? Similar. Were you flying Harris? Similar, same. They look. They kind of look same like that. Same type too? of concept, but, but different. A little bit different. Yeah. Cool. And uh, you know, you don't wear that for launch, right? You just wear those, wear those for entry. Correct. Right. So now he's going to put on his big launch and entry suit, the big pumpkin suit. And Mike is like the uh, butler. He's going to help him out here. And now doing this in space, Bobby. He's going to be floating around. You're probably going to be behind him holding him down, right, is what it's going to happen. He's going to be floating up. Trying to push against him is going to be a problem. <laughs> so the tape is for that, to hold him down. All right, so now you got to do, now Scorch is hooking up his uh, G-suit. His, what would you call him again? Speed, Speed bridges. bridges. To your, uh, to its supply, to an air supply so you can inflate those things. Look up your cooling. Already hooked it up. All right, so he's hooked up these tubes here for his cooling. 
And then he'll hook up water and air to the outside of the suit to provide water and air to his uh, to his cooling garment and to his uh, G suit. Okay, ready to go. See, when you do this when you launch, you have guys okay. to help you. The dodge, how's that? Duck. Duck. What is it? Duck dip dive. Duck dip dodgeball. Dodge dip duck. <laughs> All right. Dive and dodge. Yeah. Make sure. And we know Scorch is in the right suit because he's got the red identifier right there. Your name should be there. Where's MP name? You got all your survival gear in your pockets. Radio, Radio gloves. Here we go. All that stuff. Survival stuff. That's what it's like when you can't reach your feet. There's somebody you <laughs> put your shoes on. You need help. It is, it is a, you need two guys helping you really for this. One guy to keep you steady and the other guy to put the stuff on you. Because you're floating all over the place. Alright, where's my skibbies? <laughs> Butch, what are you wearing? Get my skibbies on. Where See, Butch is wearing his undergarment. <laughs> He's in his fancy long snake, underwear. Man. Those are nice. Those are really nice. Hey. Nice color. Thank you, Stalin. We connect the LCG and G suit. Uh, next, we'll connect yeah. and clip your harness O2. Once we get your harness on, counterbalance over the harness. This over the harness. And uh, manual sweet. press full counterclockwise. Anything just make sure we're plugged in on both sides. Think we're good to go. Okay. Step into this guy. You get the back, I'll get the front. <sighs> so, so this is the harness. The infamous harness. That will hook up to your parachute. Alright. Is that it? It's pretty good. Looking good, man.